Welcome to Potokwani. Thank you very much. How's it, I'm Matt. Errol. Errol and? Paddy. Paddy, how how's it, Paddy? All right, well, I'm here with Errol and Paddy. We're at the Pilansburg Nature Reserve, and we're gonna be learning a bunch of different things, including how to set up a camp, how to survive in the bush, and hopefully we'll get to see some wild game. So why don't we go do it? Paddy, okay. lead the way. Follow me. We are welcomed by a group of wild dogs and after exchanging names and email addresses, we continue on into the middle of nowhere. This is it, the very heart of the bush, where nature rules supreme and the land belongs to the animals. A couple of other creatures notice our arrival. I wonder if they're thinking, how's this guy going to survive out here? I am deep in the heart of the South African bush felt on location at the Pilansburg Nature Reserve. Now what I'm here to do is find out a little bit about survival. Now I've been thrown in the deep end a little bit, but I think I've got just the solution for my survival problem here. I have two solutions in fact, Errol and Chief Paddy. Okay Errol, so what are the basic tips for survival in the bush? I think that the key thing really is water. So the number one thing to do first is to find water. But more importantly, make sure whenever you go out that you actually have water with you, if possible. Okay, now we were talking a little bit about kits. Uh, Errol, you've got some binoculars. What other kit would you need for survival in the bush? Sure. Let me just assist you on that one. Okay. What do we need? Water bottle, right? That was the number one, water. Got that. Okay. Always remember that. Okay. A hat. hat. Great. A proper hat to cover your head completely. Okay. Otherwise, caps and that, you tend to burn on the face and okay. nose and all that. So you wear. Important that it's camouflaged as well. All right. And just as importantly, Oi. a good fixed blade knife. Okay. This will allow you to chop wood. Yeah. Cut whatever you need to do, dig out holes, dig out termites for food, okay. scorpions and things like that. That's critical okay. for your survival. Okay, I still have a lot to learn, but we're going to be doing that a little bit later. At least now I'm ready for the bush. By the way, you've got a tick on your pants. Don't worry about that. Wait a minute, look, there's a hyena. Paddy, I think I just saw a hyena. Yes, you're actually very lucky, because you don't normally see them during the daytime. Then in the distance, I don't know if you can pick that up. There's another one. There's nothing like being a million miles away from civilization to make you appreciate what nature and this awesome country have to offer. My first day in the bush is coming to an end and so far I've survived, so Errol's tips are obviously working. But night is about to fall, bringing with it a whole bunch of new adventures. And who knows what's in store for me out here in the wild. So just keep watching KTV to find out how I get through this guys. This could get interesting around here. I guess now I should go figure out how to make dinner with no kitchen, no fridge and stove or anything. Wish me luck.